up everybody this is jay and this video is about is it over for the shy for season three it's a lot of problems going on let's get into it but before we do please hit that like button i'm trying to get 100 likes for this video and also if you haven't already subscribe and bang that bell i'm trying to get to 20k subs by the end of september let's get into it now the shy has had a lot of problems lately they had to fire little easy e aka brandon jason on the show and so this one site that one of the fans hit me up to lipstick alley i'm not too familiar with lipstick alley but they have had something saying the shy season three behind the scenes drama lgbtq harassment and so forth now i'm just going to be going pretty fast you can pause the video to check the comments if you like but they were saying that uh the actor that plays reg uh is not going to be on the show and they was also saying that Lala can't act because she's going to be on the show. A lot of people agree is that even from the comments in my power videos. And uh, then they're saying that they're trying to save the show by adding these new people because it's already so many main characters gone. Now, some people are saying the reasons why they think Lala may keep getting these roles. Maybe she's on that casting couch. Um, that booty has gotten mighty big lately. We don't know what's all in there. It's a lot of cushion for the pushing. That's all I know. But nevertheless, um, Reg is going to be no longer on the show. These are the rumors. It hasn't been confirmed by the shy yet. But what everybody is saying is that allegedly he was going to come back and if you saw that last episode his bullet wounds were not the kind that are not survivable they could have been survivable and he's one of the most popular and almost one of the only characters on the show this representative of a chicagoan and uh so it it seemed that he was going to come back but now they're saying that allegedly lena waith wanted him to have a transgender love interest and the actor refused he said no which is actually i give him courage for that because the way things go in hollywood they may want to blacklist you blackball you anything and he refused which is legitimate because you can't be running the streets and a thug but have a transgender love interest in chicago that wouldn't work he wouldn't have that respect and so he refused and she decided it well i'm gonna kill you off the show one thing that's messed up about that though is that they allow, allow brandon to sexually harass jerica for almost two seasons and that was okay but this guy don't want to be in that transgender relationship and they decided he's off the show immediately and that's really messed up i think they underestimated his importance to the show and they even mentioned that in lipstick uh, Ali that they thought that it was messed up that they allowed him to be off the show immediately but they kept the other guy Brandon there for so long now they're gonna put Derek Luke if you all watch Star he was on Star he was dating Star on there and other things and he had a gay father in that show so there's no telling what's going on with that but they're gonna try to make him uh some long lost brother I guess he's going to replace the role of Reg. So out of nowhere, he's going to be Jake's long lost brother. This just this just doesn't make any sense coming out of nowhere left field. Um, if they would have kept Reg, I agree with Lipstick Alley. The show could have been okay. They could have focused more on Reg and the things going on. But because they wanted him to have a transgender love interest and he refused, they kicked him off the show. They bringing in Lala. They bringing in Lil Rail, Derek Luke, all these other uh uh, characters and if they bring in Lil Rail, were they gonna make it into a comedy special now? I don't know. Yeah, it has a few comic comedic moments in the show, but it was never a comedy. And it's kind of it's sad and even they said that this could turn into like a soap opera the way Empire had all these different characters in and out of the show and uh i really feel bad for the show the shy um the first season was similar to some of the things that go on in the city although that boy with that hair and that bicycle and rainbow clothes wasn't really accurate but regardless of that um the show could have been a success but too many things have gotten in the way and i think lena waith is making a big mistake trying to 
interject this transgender love interest and this gay by uh, homosexuality thing into it now it is people that of course are gay and you know transgender in chicago there it's everywhere but in the hood in the gangster life that is not necessarily happening you would not have the respect of the hood and people that you are doing business with and owe money if they know things were that case if it was you would have to be killing people all the time in order to gain their trust and respect they say well he may be with a transgender but he'll kill you and then they would just go crazy as far as the show and eventually he would be killed himself or dead as far as lala why is she even coming to the show i know it's her job and she wants to keep acting and pursue this career some people think she may even be using money that she has to help fund some projects regardless of whether that's true or not bringing in her into this show she's not even from chicago or even acts like a chicagoan and i know that's going to be difficult lil rail is from chicago and he's probably going to be the only cast member that's going to be able to keep it authentic but he's a comedian and he's a funny dude i actually like lil rail i just don't understand how his role is going to work and it's going to be interesting to see and this is Derek luke um he did an okay job on star but to just come out of nowhere um because he looks similar to ridge um i think is not a great idea and now he jake got a long lost big brother um on the shy they tweeted about these characters getting ready to come to the show and it was funny that when they tweeted this some of the fans tweeted well lala can't act this that and the other and what was funny about that is they weren't the first person to say that of course i have plenty of people that comment about how bad lala's acting is on my videos but nevertheless lala responded to one of the people that said that and when she responded she said uh, Lala can't act and Lala said well you should do it then babe and so she was a little salty at that and then one of the people said damn really and so they were surprised that Lala responded and so then they said um, I'm surprised she responded I'm surprised you haven't been blocked yet and so uh, some people were saying she can't act in power or whatever the case and so it was interesting that uh the lady said after that um yeah she did block me <laughs> and so uh i don't know why people do that um one person said she must be in the illuminati to keep getting these roles i don't know all i know it is kind of fishy that she is getting some of these roles she is a nice looking woman so maybe uh for eye candy she's keeps getting some of these roles i mean she hasn't really had that many roles but nevertheless uh she was on empire for a moment uh, uh as somebody's uh mother or something uh, no that was star she was uh the the boy's mother on star um that was getting deported um anyway um it's interesting to see how the shy is going to try to bounce back for season three um i'm interested what are you guys comments do you think the show has just lost too much too fast and it's too hard to come back um in my opinion i think they lost the main character which was brandon and then jason mitchell and then i believe they lost their main authentic character which was reg he was the only person that was really similar to how chicagoans are in the hood and uh he still was acting it wasn't all the way the way it goes but he was the only one that when i watched the show i said okay he's believable he could be you know running some stuff or doing some things in the city things he was doing the way he acted um i said okay that's some of the things that you know experience i've seen or you know even things i've heard about that could be true but with him gone i don't understand how this is going to work we'll see in the end don't forget to check out my website 
jmorereviews.com. I got a lot of interesting videos. And also, I got the Fan Wall of Fame. I have some of the unseen videos on there. Also got some opportunities if you want a video made. And check it out. I got some of my favorite comments on there as well. I want to thank everybody that support me at patreon.com forward slash jmore reviews all of your support love appreciation without you i wouldn't continue to make the videos that i do and create the content that i do and last but not least thanks for watching please leave a comment hit that, that like button and subscribe and um i'll see you in the um next video